Testing, testing. All right, we are in business, people. Welcome. Oh, what's happening here? Welcome back to another episode of Thoughts and Opinions, hosted by your one and only host, Tejana. I don't know what's happening. Something's gone loose. All righty. Uh, welcome back. Do we like this colour? I don't think we do. Mm, I don't know if I like the yellow. We've got... We've got the purple. I think I've done purple though. I've done the pink too. Red. Kind of creepy. Uh, now nah, we'll go with it. I'm getting lost in the commotion and the sound is way too loud. This week, today, this hour, this minute, I am going to be talking about algorithms. Well, actually, no, not really. Um, I'm not smart enough to talk about that. Um, I'm just going to talk about my thoughts and opinions about like YouTube, Instagram, all that type of, type of jazz. Basically, I think YouTube and Instagram make it really hard for new people to be seen like Instagram especially I'm talking to you if you're not posting consistently and I mean like really driving hard to the point where you're annoying on everyone's feed you're not being seen you are not being liked like you're not gonna get followers you're not gonna get liked and which is totally fine because I I personally don't mind on like my personal accounts but for a small business like my small clothing business I need those likes and I need that growth to be able to sell my clothes effectively and so far it's a very slow long process and it's just so I feel like it's just so hard in this day and age to do something super successful if you're not already like if you don't have a leg up somewhere in some social media platform like, if you don't already have thousands and thousands of subscribers, then it's so much harder to start a clothing brand. And if you don't have thousands and thousands of followers on TikTok or Instagram, it's so much harder to start any small business, really. And, yeah, it's just... It sucks. It sucks for so many small, creative people out there. Um... One thing I did when I first started my business account for Instagram was I managed to find all these really cool small, yeah, that would be classed as small, but like still a few thousand followers. Um, and I like their work was amazing. I was like, how are you not more popular? How do you not have more sales? Like the work is incredible, but... um they just didn't and i think that all comes down to the algorithm because i know instagram if you're pretty much not posting every day like you're not recommended to people you don't really make it some people do like the obvious ones like celebrities and stuff who literally get paid like millions of dollars to post each photo like how can i jump on that train low-key like i will post more regularly if you want to give me a couple thousand dollars a post thank you very much Here I am doing it for free, like a fool. Anyway, and YouTube. Uh, YouTube, I think, really just takes more commitment, I guess. Commitment that I don't really have, as we can see. Like, I just kind of make videos whenever I feel like it. It's the editing for me. I don't mind filming. Like, I can film whatever, but just the editing. I don't even hate editing that much. Like, once I start, it's fine. It's just telling myself I need to go do it I think it's really hard for like new young creators because if you're not seen by someone if you're not being shouted out by someone big you're just not getting very far I don't think or like you are slowly getting there but like it's a lot harder so anyway what I would like to do is shout out some really cool small businesses that I found on Instagram which I totally would buy from but I'm um, yeah, if any, if anyone, uh, if anyone would like to buy my clothes, now would be a good time. Uh, you girls kind of got no money. www.lebby.store. Thank you very much. Um, I appreciate it. Anyway, back to the small creators. Okay. 
found one. It's called Aura Clay Designs. Um, it's all like handmade porcelain. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Oh. They currently have 106k followers. Um, their designs are absolutely amazing. Like you don't see it anywhere else. Um, and yeah, just overall amazing. The other one is a clothing company. I don't know how to pronounce it properly. It's also ethically made. They are in Spain. Um, R O U R I dot official. R O. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. I'm going to butcher its name. But they are an ethically made clothing company. They are www.rourri.co. They are located in Barcelona, Spain. And they just do really, like, vibey clothes, man. Next up, we have got Milo Store. And they are located in Mexico. And hang on, let me just take a quick screenshot to show you. They have 70.5k followers. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I forgot to mention the last one. They uh, have 118k followers. Milo still has 70.5k followers and their art is just like so cool. They also make what I think is, is it porcelain? I don't really know if it's porcelain or not. Or clay? I think it's clay. But it's just like such fun, cool things. Um the other one which i am obsessed with and i would love to buy from her at some point noelle uh noelle crochet co uh she has a link tree she makes really really cute crochet designs um and she does markets and stuff uh and then i think she puts the others on her website noelle's craft corner dot square dot site is what it is called. Next up is a boutique which kind of has a lot of followers, kind of not. Um, Amoroso Boutique. They are Australian based, yes. Um, I'm fully obsessed with them. Um, I really want to buy a dress from them, uh, but once again I'm broke. Uh, so when I'm not broke, I just want to buy everything. Next up, um, with 89.8k followers uh, Atele is a Silvia I probably said that so wrong Brazilian and does bikini they are all custom made designs and they are all so cool I actually follow so many like I try and get my small business to follow as many other small businesses um Layla Otugal they are made in Turkey I believe it is um, they're just like really cool girly looking jumpers. She has 108k followers. Oh yes, I'm also obsessed with this company. Um, M-U-L-D Mold. They are handmade in Brisbane, Australia. So only like an hour and a half flight away from me. They have 30.9k followers. Dusk on the Downs. Um, I actually found their stall at the Cairns show. And I wanted to buy a pair of shoes, but they weren't in stock in my size, so I was going to buy them online. I actually generally thought they were, like, way more popular. They have 8,067 followers online. Uh, they're, like, real, like, country style and everything. I thought they were way bigger than that. Huh. Anyway, they are super epic. That's all the ones I seem to be able to find at the moment. There was definitely more, though. So, shout out to all the small businesses out there. Um, you know, small businesses should support small businesses. And if you can't buy something from a small business, that is totally okay. Just, like, spread the word. Like, spread the word to your friends. Put it on your social media. Share the posts. Like the post. Comment on the post. Comments help with the engagement side of the algorithm with Instagram and whatnot. Um, as for YouTube, I don't really know. Um, YouTube's just more of, like, a fun thing. <laughs> um, but I mean, if I could totally get to, like, a thousand subscribers to start making money, that would be awesome too. If not, I mean, I'm not too fast. I still have you guys. But, like, isn't it wild? Like, whoever subscribed to me, like, I could, like, have a celebrity subscribe to me right now, even though my account's so tiny. Isn't that a weird thought? Anyway, 
Um, yes, so that was my little, like, shout out to small businesses, I suppose. Um, small businesses work so much harder than the big manufacturers, and I totally understand that sometimes all you can afford is the cheaper option, but, like, please, 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 just save your money, support the small businesses, because they're the ones following their passions and following their dreams, they're making clothes, making products, making really cool, unique things that you can't see anywhere else, so... If you're going to do anything today, buy from a small business. Also mine, just putting it out there. But, um, yes. Other than that, um, I don't really have much else to say. Um, it's not really fair that people don't get seen as much just because they're not, like, sponsored by a Kardashian or whatnot. Or not already a celebrity. But there's, I just want to say that there's so many talented people out there that deserve more so anyway um until next time adios amigos uh buenas noches au revoir uh have a good day see y'all